Joe Biden gets accused of uh, sexually abusing Tara Reid, even though they know it's true, it gets a pass. Donald Trump gets his E. Jean Carroll judgment. Psycho. The other case coming out of New York is the uh, you know turning of the Stormy Daniels hush money payment into a what was it 37 felony charge indictment, yeah. and he's going to trial if it goes to trial on time on April 15. There have been pretrial motions to gag because you know we live in something of a communist nation now. Uh, the judge issued a gag order at the request of it's Alvin Bragg out of New York. Yeah, Alvin Bragg, Soros funded Alvin Bragg, issues a gag order, which many people, including legal brains that I do de defer to, Robert Barnes, uh, Alan Dershowitz, say is unconstitutional. Says he can't make public statements about court staff, their family, potential witnesses that might be relevant to the trial, yada, yada. It was a limited gag order issued last week. Alvin Bragg comes out over the weekend, or maybe last week, and says, you know, Judge, uh, it doesn't mention your daughter, and it doesn't mention my family, and doesn't mention me or you, you might want to revise that gag order to make it even a bigger gag. And the judge comes in and revises his you know, hitherto still unconstitutional gag order to add a provision that Trump cannot talk about the DA, his family, or the judge, the court, and his family. It just so happens, you know, when you have this discourse, that the world has now found out that Judge Juan Merchant, his daughter, is president of some... I keep forgetting the term, but like a political activist, not think tank, of a, a marketing camp. Got you. And her two biggest clients are um, Schiff, Adam Schiff, Adam the brain Schiff. Big Schiff, yeah, and another political action committee. That the daughter is a political activist, to say the least, worked on Kamala Harris's campaign, had discussions with her father back in 2019 about how her father loathes politicians who use Twitter. This is this is the judge's the daughter. The judge's daughter. Oh God. Uh, and now the media, you get your Liz Cheney's out there and your other media pundit saying, oh, Trump is attacking the daughter, as if we're, we're talking about Baron Trump, who's 16 years old. No, Trump is not attacking anybody, but links to the story in the New York Post that exposes all of this. The judge's daughter is a political activist who's been discussing with her father how the father hates tweets. Uh, it represents Adam Schiff, who raised, I think, 70 or 90 million dollars, tens of millions of, no, sorry, her both clients raised an aggregate 93 million off of this prosecution. Adam Schiff sending out his emails using this marketing campaign, mm -hmm. saying Donald Trump's being indicted. This is a you know very serious thing. Can I can you spare 10 bucks? Yeah. And I think Schiff has raised 20 million off of this. Yeah. So the judge comes out with a gag order, basically to prevent the aggregate knowledge of the interwebs to disclose, dissect, and publicize the familial corruption in this case, the prosecutorial corruption in this case. And it's just the next step in weaponizing the court system with these weaponized prosecutions and then weaponizing the procedure itself to create unconstitutional gag orders so that they can then presumably default Trump, issue sanctions, and do whatever they did it in New York. They're going to try to do it here. It's wild. It's an injustice. And now, apparently, Trump and others cannot uh, publicly talk about it, directly or indirectly. Chris, what are your thoughts on that? So, gag orders are problematic, um, except when there is a real sensitivity involved, which I agree with you, you don't really have here. Um, you do have a little bit of a problem, like, you know, it's going to be hard to find anybody who doesn't have any kind of conflict at all. Now, this is more than just no conflict. This is heavy conflict. But you, you can make a similar argument uh, about Clarence Thomas and his wife and yep. whether or not he should have been on the bench for anything that has to do with anything that his wife was involved in politically. You know, you'll have one side wave that away. Now you have the other side wave this away. That's part of our problem. You yep. only see the flaws in the other side. That's the two-party poison. Again, gag orders unconstitutional. Alan would say that. Alan is a mentor of mine and a friend, um, and I have him on the show all the time. Uh, gag orders have been found to be constitutional, depending on their extent and who they're... So I don't have a legal issue with it as a concept. I do in its application. I am very increasingly afraid about censorship. It is happening more and more, which is weird because we're getting more and more outlets and access. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's why there's more and more censorship because there's such desperation for control. I do believe in what you're saying. There is weaponization of prosecution of political opposition. And I, rem I remember this beginning with the impeachment of Donald Trump the first time. That is a political process. Okay, so I'm not as worried about it being a perversion of the prosecution process because it's a political process. Yeah. However, 
High crimes and misdemeanors is not a mystery, okay? <laughs> we know where it came from. These guys came over from the UK. They didn't like what had just been happening in the UK, mm -hmm. where they were prosecuting each other oh, yeah, yeah. to death. Yeah. They didn't want that. Mm -hmm. So they created a standard where, look, if you're going to impeach the guy, it's got to be for something that's a big deal. Yeah. Otherwise, let the people decide. Yeah. Okay? They blew right past that standard. They put in this guy, Mueller, who everybody loved because they thought he was a Republican. Turns out he just wasn't on his game anymore. Yeah. So they weren't getting the leadership and the stewardship of this. I don't believe that you should have special counsels. I'm not saying that they're unconstitutional or illegal. I'm saying they're impractical. Okay. I want accountability. I don't want you to give the investigation to him. Who, who's him? Who's, I, did, yeah. I didn't vote for this guy. Yeah. I want it to be the AG. I think they should handle everything in-house. Yeah. Um, if you have a conflict, disclose the conflict, but do your job. Yeah. And it's very dangerous. You know, the last thing that they agreed on, the two sides, what? in a major way, get rid of the independent counsel statute. Do you remember that? No. So the independent counsel statute was Ken Starr, Bill Clinton. Yeah, right? during so the whole Clinton appoints the first one, this guy named Fisk to look into what they're saying. I'll, I'll appoint an independent counsel. Let him figure it out. Let's take it out of politics. Yeah. Oh, great, great idea. He starts sniffing around Hillary Clinton. Oh, no. All of a sudden they're like, whoa. And the, Repu <laughs> and the, Republicans, the Republicans are like, oh, good. Let's oh, put our own guy in there. Oh, they God. put in Ken Starr. And off to the races he goes. Oh, man. He starts looking at legal transactions yeah. that was called Whitewater. Yeah. Yeah. He winds up with a blowjob in the Oval Office. <laughs> Why? Because he could go wherever he yeah. wanted and he had unlimited funds, unlimited staff. Yeah. Both sides agree to let that statute That's expire so and not have it anymore. <laughs> they have too much power because you couldn't control because it's an illusion. Yeah. It's an illusion. So do I care about gag orders? Depends. Do I think it is right to have Trump gagged? No. Again, beat the guy at the polls. Yeah. Beat him with better arguments. When you silence him, you empower him. And we keep seeing it with censorship again and again and again. You remember in the, in the first impeachment, they actually presented the argument that high crimes and misdemeanors didn't even need to be a crime. It could be anything. If they don't like him, they can impeach him. And then the second time, well, then the, forget the second impeachment, but now under Joe Biden, you got AOC saying, well, where's the crime? Where's the crime? Yeah. RICO's not a crime. So now it has to be a crime, but back then it didn't have to be a crime. RICO is a crime. No, well, there's no it, question. She's wrong about that. <laughs> but the, the biggest issue here is that they're gagging their political rival in an election season. Yeah. And you'll wrong. remember they, they literally changed the laws back in 2022 to facilitate a Biden victory. They changed the law with the E. Jean Carroll extending the statute of limitations on adults claiming to be victims of sexual abuse, specifically so E. Jean Carroll could sue. They gave her the window. She sued. She got her corrupt jury in New York. And now they're literally gagging Trump during an election cycle. It is nothing but lawfare election interference that I hope everybody has to see. But some people like the rules being broken when it's to their advantage. So that's question? Everybody likes the rules being broken when it's to their advantage. Not me. Oh. I'm a principled person. Please, I don't yeah, like uh, it. It's part, it's part of our problem. Though. So let me ask you guys a question, which I agree with. Uh, uh, so the gag order is on Trump because he's trying to reveal the fact of the relationship, you know, with the daughter. and her. They're gagging everybody. It's just only operative with Trump. Got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but here's my thing, though. Well, can, can The fact that that's a fact and it's out there. I mean, New York Post is is, is reporting it. Yeah, that he's gagged, oh, no, but why, and, why aren't other people just... Well, not just that. New York Post reported it, and uh, I was going to say Dick Cheney, but Liz Cheney comes out and says, this is harassment, this is threats, because Trump posted an, uh, the link to the article, yeah. and in the article, it, it, it features it a photo of, of the daughter. I mean, listen, say what you want about them, though. Guys, they they're play fucking dirty. good. <laughs> no, they play dirty, but and that's where I go to the, the Uniparty. The other side... And I'm tired of people going, well, they need to learn how to... They're all on the same freaking Oh, by the way, they do whatever and, they want. And they lie. You have uh, Andrew Weissman coming out and saying that Trump posted a video or a photo of Biden bound, gagged, with a bullet hole in his head on the back of the pickup truck. And I'm like... He was not gagged. He was bound, and it's a joke, and they have one of Trump as well. No bullet hole either. Lawrence Tribe, who floated the 14th Amendment, third... Uh, Section three of Section the 14th three. Amendment, he about uh, which was designed for the Civil War... Um, and whether or not you could ever hold office after that. Oh, really? But it could be cured by Congress. It was a way of just weeding out the rebellion. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean?
Yeah, so so the tribe floats that idea. His legal theory gets shut down, but he also repeats the lie. So they lie. They make fat threats out of nothing. You get Liz Cheney saying this is harassment, and they send that dog whistle, you know, that that ringing bell to their base. Go th- mail threats to her, harass her, so that we can then say Trump did this. It's it's dirty. It's deceitful. But bottom line. Trump has not made any overt threats, and you already have laws to prevent that. Anyhow, you don't need to prevent criminal speech through a gag order. Yeah, I agree with all that. I just feel like just see it for what it is as what you call the unit party. Mm-hmm. You know, I was so upset with Jim Jordan, who I'm I'm happy to have on the show. He got pissed off at CNN about the Ohio State stuff, which I never even really reported on, but he wouldn't come on anymore. All right. So now I'm at News Nation. He'll come on. Great. I think it's really important to have everybody on the couch. I really do. Mm -hmm. Um, Not like on the couch. That's going to be snipped. Yeah, not like you are in trouble now. (laughs) I I didn't mean like casting couch. I meant like, what did mommy do to you? You know, (laughs) I'm like, I think therapy, you know, you you think casting couch. I'm just saying, see it. They were right that the impeachment of Donald Trump, the idea that you were doing it for historical precedent, I, I don't buy it. Is that is that an argument? Yeah, I think it's a weak one. You are never going to remove him. I don't understand what the purpose is of impeaching someone that you know you have zero chance to, to, of removing. To, to devo- desecrate the value of the Constitution and the pillars of society. Th- this It was to break the glass, to cross the Rubicon, so that it never carries the same weight ever again. It's to destroy the institution. Well, they, well, and, they ruined, and, and to give people the talking points of, which I see it all the time from my friends and family in California, well, he was impeached twice, or, yeah. or, or Russian collusion. Oh, yeah, he was an asset. 87 indictments. These are these are exactly these are just Mo, these are just talking points that they're going to use like, I know. for, for public what, what I'm saying is see it everywhere. Why did I bring up Jim Jordan? They had high ground about the impeachment. Man, what a distraction this was. We have so many real problems we should be working on. Yeah. Not that they'd work on them if yeah. they hadn't had the impeachments in the way. Yeah. Um, but it was they were right to say it. They go after Biden right now out of the box Mm -hmm. the same way that the democrats went after trump and it was i was surprised okay and people are like what no i was i was surprised and it was sad to me that i would talk to these guys and it's like they don't remember what they said to me and why they said it it's like no no no, this is real, what we're doing with Biden. It's totally different than what they did. And I'm like, how is it totally different? You're doing the same thing. You're distracting from what matters to me and my life to go after this guy so that you can hurt him politically. And you see it with Trump. These brag cases are problematic. The idea that paying off a porn star, or whatever, I don't even like calling her that, paying people <laughs> off, okay? Uh, was it illegal to pay them off? No. Catch and kills have been around for a long time. Right. Was it wrong uh, for the way Michael Cohen paid for it? I don't know. But if it was a violation of campaign finance law, you're really going to prosecute a president slash former president over that, let alone during an election? Let's say, well, the timing doesn't matter. Of course it matters. Yeah, it always matters. matters. And I think that it is at a minimum a bad look. And at maximum, it's bad for all of us because it is making us hate each other. And I don't, I, I just don't see where it ends unless we stop doing these things. But the only way to do it is to bust the party structure. Oh, and and maximum in election interference. I mean, some of that was not even true. Like the Russian collusion, it was bought and paid for. And you were talking about there's no one correction. There was no correction after that. Like it was literally fraudulent information bought and paid for from a political adversary. From Hillary. And still today, people will say, well, he colluded with Russia. And it's like the correction was never made. And so what? it did the damage that it well, was he to. Was, he was never, there was never a conspiracy case made convincingly. There was never a Russian asset. Maybe to made. us, but to the public, I well, would argue that no it was convincingly. It, by the, way, the ultimate irony of all of that is that Hillary Clinton and the DNC that paid for the steel dossier, they also hid that payment. There was no that's right. felony yeah. indictment. There was a, a five thousand dollar fine way, for Hillary. Got, I, guess, I don't know how much she got fined. Eight thousand bucks it, in the DNC. <laughs> you literally, you freaking demon! She paid for all this thing and sent us into a whirlwind of shit for four years. And that, by the way. I know you remembered it. You were on CNN. That's all we were talking about because they kept pushing it. And then now the smoke clears. And it's like, wait a minute. Well, they, was, they talk about it because <laughs> it works. But I will tell you something. Again, 
you know, I've been in this business a long time. I know Paul Manafort, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, you have Trump's uh, campaign mm -hmm. chair. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think there is a chance he will come back. The guy is a master Mon of how to work uh, conventions and you know how to figure out your delegate count and where you, and I, I know it's a no brainer because Trump uh, is all alone in this but you need things to be done the right way there there's a good argument to be made well what do you mean he was convicted yeah he was convicted and it was a, you know it was it was a real case but it was a harsh prosecution and he did his time I mean do we believe in forgiveness or not so that's Manafort Manafort knows he had no business going into the meeting that he was in. Um, Roger Stone knows that he had no business taking a meeting with a guy who said that he may be able to get information from a Russian asset. We know in this business of politics, you don't take meetings with foreign people who want involvement in the election. People know that that's a scary thing to do. Is that collusion? Yeah, as a behavior, not as a crime. Mm -hmm. Collusion is only a crime in securities law. Yeah. Conspiracy is the crime. Yeah. Did they conspire? I don't think there's even a whisper of a case. Did they do things they shouldn't have done that were political malpractice? Yeah, but that's not a prosecution. Exactly. Everybody it's does. not an impeachment. Yep. And that was my feeling all along. People will say, no, 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 you're only saying that now. No. That's demonstrably false. But you reported on the impeachment. Of course I did. You of have course to. I did. What it was the most important thing going on. Yeah. Um, so look. The points are all well taken. I'm just saying see it everywhere because they're both playing these games. All the, Do they play it the same way to the same degree? What difference does it make? Behind yeah. closed doors somewhat. <laughs> but what difference does it make? You know what I it's mean? going on on both sides as a distraction from what should be mattering. 100%.